A new era in private space flight has begun. For the first time ever, two private astronauts from SpaceX have completed a spacewalk which saw them leave their Dragon capsule protected only by their space suits. SpaceX's new space suit has been years in development. I guess this was the catwalk we saw today. Wow, let's pull in Keith Cowing now. He's editor of nasawatch.com. Keith, good to see you again. So NASA calling this a giant leap forward for, I want to say, the, the commercial space industry. Is that what it is? Yeah, you know, and there's something about this that in some ways this has been done before. Um, back in the day when I was a little kid, uh, this is how the first Soviet and American astronauts went out. They just kind of did a little thing and then came back in. Then NASA developed uh, and Russia developed spacesuits that have backpack. My little thing here, they have a backpack that has all their life support. But today, and of course, these spacesuits, by the way, NASA's been using them for 40 years, and they're trying to make new ones, but it's taken them decades, and they still haven't done it. Well, SpaceX took some of uh, Mr. Isaacman's money and went and developed these new suits, and they're kind of like brand new sexy things that are 21st century, but at the same time, you know, I'll use my little model here. They have a tether, so they don't need the backpack. They uh -huh. get all their oxygen from this. That they, said, the yeah. suits themselves are quite more advanced than what NASA has. So it's something old, something new, something tried, something true. It's new and old and new and old. Well, wait, Keith, let me ask you, why has it been decades since NASA has come out with a new spacesuit? I mean, the, the, the ones that have been used, like the, the space shuttle missions, were basically the same ones that were used during the Apollo missions. I mean, it's hard to believe that, you know, 40, 50 years can go by and you haven't upgraded your, your spacesuits. Yeah, well, that, that's a bit, of a, a bit of a conundrum for us here in the U.S. Uh, on one hand, I've used the spacesuit gloves, and... They're not exactly nimble, and if you start filling them with air, they come very stiff. So these are not the most expressive, you know, spacesuits. They do their job, but it takes some work. And I've got friends who've, you know, thrown their shoulders out and gotten bruises and so forth. And you know, they've been NASA's been prompted more than once to develop new spacesuits, and they just keep spending all this money, and they never get there. Some companies like um, uh, Axiom Space and uh, another company, which dropped out, have been asked to build spacesuits that we can use in the moon. And SpaceX, of course, has developed their own spacesuits, as has Boeing for their Starliner. So mm -hmm. we're making some progress, but it's not NASA. It's these companies because they can do product uh, development and enhancement. Yeah. NASA can't. It's interesting. Um, before we run out of time, I want to ask you, th this crew went three times higher than the International Space Station. Uh, was that risky? I mean, what are the risks of going so far? It's risky in that, uh, not for the, the, the spacecraft, it can do this easily, but you go into one region near the Van Allen belts where you, you get a radiation dose that's somewhat like three times larger than you'd get if you were in the space station for six months, but you only dwell or stay there for a short period of time. That said, any spacewalk is dangerous, and the further away you are, the further away you are, but uh, these folks had it all in hand and figured out, and uh, they did their thing, and maybe next time they'll float around and do something more spe uh, spectacular. Well, you know what they say. If you're going to take a spacewalk, you might as well look good while you're doing it. I guess that's what they did today. Keith Cowing from NASAwatch.com. Keith, always good talking with you. Thank you.